In this YouTube video, we will demonstrate the premium variety of our basic version where you will not only learn the automatic email extraction into Google Sheet, but will also get some advanced features like trigger creation sidebar functionality, built-in and in-front button functionality, and more. To start the process first, you have to open the Google Sheet in which you want to fetch out the details of your email such as subject, body, attachment, and more. Now, click on the extension menu and select the app script option from the drop-down showing on the top of the page. This will open up the coding section to you. So, you have to paste the entire well-working code here. You can copy this code directly from the description box. Once you have pasted the code, then you need to click on the plus, plus symbol, button in front of files, appearing on the top left corner, and select the HTML option. Here, we will type sidebar.html and we'll press the enter key. This will bring your trigger adding button on the sidebar of your Google Sheet. Next to this, you have to click on the run button of the code. As you will press the run button, then it will ask you for the authorization. Therefore, you just have to click on review permissions, then select a valid email account, and finally click on the allow button. As you can see that here your execution has been started and get completed as well within a few seconds. You also can change the name of your coding page. Now, we will be back to our Google Sheet in which we want the automation and extracted emails data. Here, you can see that both button are appearing on the top, export emails, and set triggers. So, we will click on the extract emails option first, and you can see that running script text is showing on the top of the sheet. As a result, all the emails from your inbox have been extracted into Google Sheet with their respective cells such as to email, subject, body, email URL, thread count, thread timestamp, and more. The URL updated into the sheet will redirect you straight to the email thread. The thread count will let you know the number of update on email. The timestamp will keep you update about the receiving date of the email. For a confirmation, we will click on the URL of the email and you can see it has brought you direct to the email thread. Once again, we will click on the URL of the email and you can see again it has brought you to the email thread. Now we will set up the trigger in the sheet. For this, we will click on the set trigger option from the top of the sheet, and you will see that the set trigger side panel will open up to you. Here, you have to choose the export emails option from the select function and one minute time from the time interval before clicking on the set trigger button. You can choose the time interval based on your own requirements, like in which time you want to update your sheet periodically. Adding a trigger will help and keep the sheet updated by entering the details of every newly received email. As you will click on the set trigger button, the trigger set for function, text will appear to you down to the button as a confirmation that the trigger has been added. For a verification of the automated process, we will send three emails again. Additionally, here you can see that all the newly received emails have been updated in the sheet within their proper format, date, and other details. You can also see that the URL of the recently updated emails is also working well. This is how you guys can automate your email parsing process and also be updated through the Google Sheet record.